Hey, what's up guys? Cheese Edits here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to kill Jason and Fry13 in the game. It's a simple, easy process, and I'll also grant you a trophy at the end. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So the very first step for killing Jason is that first you have to find the Tommy Jarvis radio, or aka the CB radio. And in order to do that, you have to go searching around the map. It's The Jarvis radio can be in three locations, and as you could just see right there, it would have a giant red and white pole flashing above the house. So it's not too hard to miss. And that's your first step. And also, these steps can be done in any order. Mainly not the end part, but mainly just finding the radio and also other parts I will explain. To, but moving on to the next part. The next step for killing Jason is that you want to find Jason's shack, which is located on one of the sides on the map. And you want to steal his mom's sweater, a.k.a. Pamela's sweater, because that will help you stun Jason, nearly kill him, in the, in the further coming step. So let's move on to the next step. So the next step is that you either want two or three people to escape, whether that's by your traditional escape routes or just by Jason killing you. You need this to happen because once two or three people have escaped, this will trigger the Tommy Jarvis spawn. And actually right now there's a glitch going around to where the two or three people escape, but Jarvis does not spawn in. So hopefully this, this does not happen to you because if it does, Jarvis is the only one that can kill Jason and you're going to have to redo the whole process. So hopefully that does not happen to you. But moving on to the next step. So the next step is that is when Jarvis spawns in, you want people to knock off Jason's mask, preferably the people with good high strength like Bugsy or Adam Palomino. And this can simply be done by going into combat stance by pressing down the R3 button on your controller. And you want to aim high for the head, and this can be done with uh, good few blows by Adam, like I said, and good weapons like an axe or a machete that can really knock off his mask pretty quickly. But moving on to our last and final step. So for the last step for killing Jason, at first you want to get the Jarvis player over to where the councils have Jason at, and you just simply want to drop your shotgun and pick up the machete. This is roughly off the move where Jarvis supposedly killed Jason, but as we know, he did not die. So the, now this part takes some cooperation skills by the Jarvis player and by the female player that has the, the sweater. So now what you want to do is hypnotize Jason as the female player, and now, as the sweater comes off, you want to hit Jason with the blunt weapon. He'll fall on his knees, and if all is done right, you'll get the X button shown on your screen. And it'll throw you into the slow-mo cutscene. But only Jarvis gets the trophy, since he is the one that actually really killed Jason. But everyone gets a 500 XP boost, so there's a little reward for killing Jason. But hope you guys did find this video helpful, and hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below, give me some love, and also comment and subscribe for more content. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace slow motion I'm gonna nice thousand XP we did it yeah try yeah try doing that when Jason's not afk